Welcome back to Manchetta, guys. It's time for another light novel review. Welcome back. This is going to be on Spy Classroom, specifically on the light novels. Kind of a spinoff, not really, but kind of like side stories, I guess, uh, called Bridal Royale. Um, I started it. I've read most of it already. I like Spy Classroom, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in just a bit, but uh, just know it's not from the sequential series. It is kind of a side story type of deal. Before anything, guys, I've got sent this by Yen On, uh, which is the light novel a section of Yen Press. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you guys can check this out online. I will be posting it on my social media, obviously here as well, and uh, in other places um, where you guys can find links to buy this. Uh, there's also a link in the description below where you guys can buy cheap manga, light novels, uh, all by Yen Press, Yen On, and their Easy Press uh, section as well, which is um, their webtoons created into, um, you know, kind of a manga series. Um, now this one is, again, Spy Classroom. It is going to be uh, a little closer to my heart because it is uh, anime that I reacted to. Now before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. You guys can find me on social media. Like I said, I am posting this uh presentation um pictures and all that stuff on social media even before the video is out so make sure you check them out uh because it is going to be uh you know a little bit more stuff that you guys can see there as well beyond this video uh and then uh also consider watching my other yen press videos reviews here i have a lot already so check them out they uh they're so generous in helping me out um having copies to review for you guys so it is it's a great uh, deal that I have right now. So, uh, okay, let's continue with the actual review. So, uh, Spy Classroom, if you don't know what this story is about, essentially it's um, a guy called Claus. Um, he was in a special team, and I believe the team is called Lamplight. And this, this group essentially had a traitor, and they got betrayed by them, obviously. Everyone got killed except Claus. Claus was supposed to be part of the mission. He wasn't, so his he was saved. Yeah, he missed it by a little bit. Um, well, he forms another elite uh, spy group, which is these girls. And there's 12 of them, I believe. Yeah, there's 12 of them in the group. Uh, actually, there's more. There's there's a whole thing about it in the anime. But anyways, uh, he trains them to be this special group. And essentially... Um, they're able to find the corporate who traded or betrayed the group, and then they go on into other missions as well in the anime. Well, the story, uh, they find out that Claus uh, was married, and it was a member of Lamp Light. So they kind of go into a sequential uh, short stories of them looking into their missions to find more clues of who Claus is was married to um it is a cute way to give us more short stories of each character um not all characters get as much spotlight as i wished it all did uh you can tell that some characters are liked more than the others but um they they still get some spotlight right um it is a genius way to be honest to to kind of come up the short stories of them maybe or seemingly not connecting to each other but at the end yes connecting to each other because they all are different clues and the anime was kind of that way and i i feel like some people didn't enjoy the anime for that reason was because after the big you know reveal the whole you're the traitor the mission's over which was like the first three maybe four episodes the rest of the anime was short stories that Seemingly, they weren't connecting to each other, but they were. They connected to a grander story and very similar to this. So, uh, the series itself obviously comes with a lot more artwork that we get to enjoy. I, myself, love, love getting these full shots, pages of the girls, because I, I get to envision how they look. I love also when light novels come with a pull-out, um, full-colored, 
um, here you go, pages where you can pull out and fold in. Uh, I know some people, and I've never done it, just a fear of ripping it. Um, oh, there's, we didn't get the full shot of claws. There you go, there's claws. Uh, a fear of ripping it, so I don't rip it out. But I know some people rip it out, they post it on their walls. No, great. Uh, I know to an extent that is its purpose, but for me, I, I'm afraid I'm going to rip it, so I never do that. But they are there. So I have received light novels before that don't have any colored pages. And to be honest, it's a shame because it takes away from me knowing how the characters look and so on and so forth. Especially if it's been a while since I've seen the anime, which it really hasn't. It's been like a month and a half, but you still sometimes forget who each character, especially with series like this, there's multiple girls and you kind of forget who's who, right? So, uh, out of 10, considering it is a short story spinoff of a series that I already know, uh, just keep that in mind. I will say this one is a 7 out of 10 because it does do a good job in continuing the story of the girls. Um... By itself, I would probably say 6 out of 10, just because you really have to know the story, you really have to know the characters, um, that there is some explanation of the characters and the detail and stuff like that, but throughout the end of the day, if you don't have that pre-notion of the anime or the light novel series that came before it, you kind of don't get what all is going on, so... It is what it is. Let me know, guys, what you guys think of this series. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. And I will see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.